Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and here's a quick guide on how to make the Razer Black Shark V2 Pro microphone sound better on PC. This is for the 2023 edition. Some quick tips on what to do to tweak the mic and sound better according to your own personal needs. So one of the things you need to do, first of all, is to go into Synapse and download any firmware updates that it suggests might be available. So usually on this screen, you'll see there's a firmware update. The next thing we need to do is to go into the mic section. But first of all, we want to make sure under the Windows sound settings that we have the Black Shark selected as the speakers and microphone. This is in Windows 11, but the logic applies the same in either. So if you're in Windows 10, you're probably used to seeing this sound panel here. You can make sure that you have the right speakers selected and that it's set to the best quality rate. And then in the recording section, we can see the microphone here. We can go in there and we can adjust the properties. Now, one of the things I'd suggest doing is actually selecting listen to this advice and clicking apply. When you do that, you can then listen back to the microphone as you make these adjustments. There's a mic preview option in here. And there's also mic monitoring side tone. These are two different things. Side tone lets you hear your own voice directly through the headset without any enhancements. And mic preview lets you test out the mic settings that you're changing here. What I found though is it doesn't work very effectively because you click on that, it just sometimes doesn't work. But if you do listen to your device through Windows sound settings, you can then do some of that. So what I found is if you go into the voice gate settings, this controls the threshold of the input to allow more sound to be registered. A lower setting is better, but maybe you want to eliminate some of the noise. You can play around with voice gate. We can change this. Voice normalization basically sets all the levels to the same. So if you're whispering, then it will make sure that people can be still heard. And if you're really loud, it will reduce that. I found a tweak it around 82 gets it to a good setting. Then vocal clarity makes quite a significant change if you go through here in these. And then mic noise cancellation obviously eliminates some of the background noise from the environment. I have mine set to broadcast quality. I find that this is a good sound for me. And then you can tweak and play around with some of these other settings. You might not need to use these. Sometimes it just sounds great without anything of these applied. But it is worth looking into these and seeing which works for you. So this is the default sound. And then this is with mic boost turned on. This is with the broadcast setting. And this is with the conference mode. You can also set custom. One of the things I will note is that if you're using mic monitoring to hear your own voice, I have noticed that if you turn it out too high, so I've got it set to 100 so I can really hear myself, I do hear some white noise. So if you do notice that you're hearing a constant through your headset, it's probably the side tone. There are two different fixes for this. Updating the firmware can remove any of the white noise problems that you might have with it. And if that doesn't work, then turning off side tone is another solution because then you just don't hear that feedback, which is nice. But obviously it's sad because you're losing the side tone. The other thing to do is to just put side tone on, but drop it down a bit. So a uh, lower level, I'm not hearing the white noise, for example. So that can be one option. Another thing to watch out for, which will be useful to know, isn't related to making the microphone sound good, but power saving mode. You'll notice the device will turn off after a certain amount of activity or inactivity. This can affect Bluetooth connectivity, and that can be a problem. Some people have reported issues with Bluetooth disconnecting when they're using that, so just turn that off. Make sure you turn your headset off, obviously, when you're not using it, otherwise you will cut into the battery life, but this might help with any connection problems you are having. Hopefully you found these tips useful. The Black Shark V2 Pro sounds pretty awesome with these tweaks. It's got a great sounding microphone, so you just need to adjust a few settings to make it sound even better than it does out of the box. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Thanks for watching.